guys, what's happening? Johnny Glock here. We are a couple months past the launch of the 4311. And I have just been inundated with questions about the comparison between the 4311 and the Evolution X combat drop-in. So I thought the fairest way to do this would to be make a video and make it very, very objective. I will say some subjective things at the end, but um, same way that I always kind of put the green tape on trigger action when I do that with other videos that you've seen before, we're going to do the exact same thing with the Evolution X and the 4311. This way, it's going to give you a very visual comparison because if you don't have those lines there, it's very hard to differentiate between the two groups because they are very, very similar. So, um, I will start out by saying, I'll answer a couple questions first. The, the first one is, um, you know, the components and, and that also has, that also has to do with the second question as well. When people say, how come your evolution X is a hundred dollars more than, uh, the 4311. So this is kind of like a dual question. I can answer it in this way that the evolution X is 100% Glock factory OEM parts and the 4311 is 100% aftermarket parts. Okay. So there's a, there's a difference there. First of all, I know the evolution X is, you know, approved with a bunch of different agencies and departments across the U S and that is because it is 100% Glock factory OEM parts. And they have to have that by, um, by their criteria from their departments, agencies, and uh, whatever. So that's one of the things. And these parts in the Evolution X are all, the price differences is because they're all hand worked. So the Evolution X, it's a different process than the 4311. Uh, because of the nature of the parts of the 4311, we can just pretty much use a process of tumbling and we can put a nice shine on there for a nice smoothness and we since there's not so many different parts interfacing we don't have to worry about that we're getting the same results you know what i mean there's no difference in in action as far as smoothness and crispness and all that is concerned it's just like we just don't have to put that amount of time into it whereas like i said with the evolution x we have to have a human being on a wheel polishing also with striker in the 4311 once again that's tumbled with every striker in the Evolution X, I have to personally hone, stone, high polish. I mean, it's a it's a process. It takes quite. It's pretty arduous. You know what I mean? So that's that's kind of the difference because that was one of the main questions. Why is there such a you know, a price difference? So that's those are the two, that's, those are the two answers. You know, the processes are different, and the parts are different. So with that said, let's get to the the difference in the actual action of the triggers so the first thing i will say is the evolution x has more of a authentic sort of two-stage feel i cut my teeth on generation three glocks so i am a very big fan of a very stout wall and then a very predictable snap break that's what the evolution x has so it's a it's a very stout wall it's more out front and it's a um, it's like an icicle snap break and the reset is a very aggressive reset that takes you right back to the break point. The 4311 does not have that characteristic. It's more of a, I would say like a semi rolling break. So, and that's one of the, you know, we designed this, like I said, we had to start with safety. We wanted safety to be the number one aspect of this. So. When we designed that, we the only way we were able to do it to make sure that you could throw this thing off a plane and it wasn't going to go bang is by putting by making the characteristics of the of the action in accordance with the safety. Now, with that said, there's a lot more movement in the front of the 4311. There's a lot more travel to get to that wall. Now, the wall is not as stout and abrupt. It's more of like a rolling wall. So, um, 
I'm not going to, the break is, the break itself is crisp, but you kind of roll into it. That's, that's the main difference in between the two, as far as the front end of it's concerned. The resets on both of them, as you will see from the, from the actual guns that I have here, Mark, they're very, very, very simple. So it's really just, it's a matter of preference. You know what I mean? They're both very, very different animals. When I first started shooting the 4311, I was like, eh, you know what I mean? I was kind of, but then the more I, and it's, it's, it's familiarity, you know what I mean? So the more I, I shot the 4311, I'm like, damn, this is a damn good trigger, you know, but the Evolution X is a damn good trigger. So it comes down to, you know, what your, what you subjectively like with your trigger. That's, that's basically what it comes down to. The Evolution X feels a little heavier. The 4311 feels a little lighter because of the nature of the wall and the difference between a snapping break and a rolling break. So with that said, um, okay, so so as you can see, we have these both marked so we can see what they are. Uh, you can see the that they are unbelievably similar in their markings. You can see that the Evolution X is going to pick up the wall a lot sooner because that's that mark than the 4311. That's one of the main differences. So when that, so when you get on this trigger, trying to get the lighting right there, perfect. When you get on this trigger, there's your wall right there. You already are at the wall, right? See the mo see the movement. And I can see, I have a monitor here where I can see this. And just because of the difference in between the lighting and all this stuff, it's not really showing the point of that. I'm going from the very point of that trigger. So uh, you guys have seen enough videos of mine, so you can trust. <laughs> I'm, not pulling any, I'm not pulling any punches here. So that's basically that movement. Now the 4311, as you can see right after that, it is different because you've got to come all the way back like that. There's a lot more movement to get to what is the wall right there right there now some guys like to some guys like i said it's subjective some guys like that wall very stout very out front some guys don't mind a wall that's a little bit uh you know a little bit i, I forget the word that i use as far as um the wall forgiving i i guess that would be a really good word okay this wall is very stout this wall is kind of like forgiving there's another word i i'll, I'll probably remember by the end of the by the end of the video but so the the wall is out front and then when you have the break point it's very short very little bit of break travel and then same thing with the reset all right so once again from from your press and that's another thing i want to address don't you know you don't pull a trigger like this and you don't come in from the side like that it's a flat shoe so you have to land flat on the shoe with your trigger so it's a trigger press it's not like a trigger pull you know you're not pulling it like that you're actually pressing it uh, a lot of guys that are used to coming from a curved shoe they kind of can swipe in from the side because of the nature of a curved shoe you can't do that with a flat shoe it's a flat shoe you have to land flat on the safety so out wall right there brake travel is very short and then reset very short as well from the beginning wall snap and then reset those are the three lines right there for the evolution x now let's go to the 4311 clear gun Get that out of the way so the action with this one is there like i said you have that a little bit more of that movement there and the wall is just kind of like if i push through i'll break right through it whereas the 4311 doesn't have that 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 sort of like push through break right through it the 43 i mean the, the evolution x doesn't have that it's kind of like wall stop and it's stopping you it's stopping you that's why i said it's a, a very stout wall whereas the 4311 it come right through it you come right through it but the point is that's why we put so much when we were talking about the design that's we, why we put this amount of movement in here, because we knew that the brake feel is quite different 
uh, very unique. So we wanted to make sure we put that little bit of an insurance policy because we know this is a carry gun. So we want to make sure that you have assurances um, if you would get on that trigger and you need to back off of it, which could happen. Um, you know, things happen when you're in uh, highly energized adrenaline dump situations. So we put all that movement and then there's the break. Same thing. Here's your reset. So break. I get that. So one more time from the, from the, and you, have, you guys always have to remember like your first shot is the only time you have any of this stuff going on. After the first shot, both of these triggers are unbelievably similar. Like I said, the majority of it is brake feel, um, brake feel and the roll versus the, versus the snap. So right there you have a 4311 and then reset 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 All right evolution x break reset reset so that's pretty much it that that is as sync and honest as i can give an opinion on the differences between the evolution x and the 4311 they are both absolutely phenomenal triggers. They are both going to go bang every single time. They are both not going to go bang <laughs> when you don't want them, whether you drop them or, you know, I've, I've had, you know, several times, you know, people love to give us this feedback because when I mean, you drop your gun off your refrigerator and your family sitting there, uh, you know, eating breakfast, it's a, it felt like you just got off a roller coaster, man. Let's put it that way, because you're, you're going up there. A lot of guys, you know, they'll go grab their gun and then that thing comes right down on a hard tile kitchen floor or wood floor. Not many people have carpet in their kitchen. But that's usually where we hear like, hey, man, I dropped this gun from, you know, six feet plus onto my kitchen floor. And my as it was dropping, my heart was going through my chest. And it was just such a relief that it just landed and nothing happened. So both of these guns, you can 100% know that if something like that happens, that you and your family are safe. Also, a lot of these are carried appendix. Uh, who knows what you could get into? You know, so if you're having to do some gymnastics or something like that, in, in that type of case, you, you just don't have to worry about it. It's just, it's as safe as the Glock OEM trigger. It's as safe. That's where we always start at Johnny Glock's is safety because that's predominant it has to be safe and then we build the performance in you know luckily i've had enough uh experience and enough feedback from people to make them the performance just as stellar as the safety um and like i said and also it's going to go bang every time you want it to there will it will not go click you know it just will not bang every single time and so you know i wanted to get this video out because like I said, I've just been inundated with emails asking about the differences in between the two. And, um, you know, it's more similarities than there are differences to be quite honest. Uh, but that, that is the main difference in my opinion. 4311 breaks further back in the guard. It's, it's more of a rolling break. It's more of a forgiving wall and just, just, you know, just break right through. Whereas the evolution X catches that wall out front. And then it's a very stout wall. So when you snap through the wall, it's got that snap feel to it. Um, they're both as crisp. I know you can, these words get kind of, you know, like they, they, they get very, um, they can blur, you know, what, what is What is the difference between snap and crisp and, you know, these nuances and stuff like that. So, um, I'm doing the best job I can to kind of describe how, how these, how these trigger groups feel. Like I said, the main thing is, you know, just different strokes for different folks. You know, some people like Android, some people like Apple. Um, I always like to use that analogy because it's, it's, it. there's people that I love their apples. You know what I mean? I can't stand an apple. Yeah. <laughs> I like Android, but then there's people that like, you know, love Android. And you know, so anyway, so um, if you have any other questions that I did not answer, uh, we would appreciate it if you, 
left some comments uh, in the comment section and we will absolutely, something that we've been doing has been like a Q&A uh, since Mike's been on board where we'll just do a video of you, the questions you ask, I will answer them personally. So, and we will also answer them in the feed. So if you have any questions about these two that, that I have not touched upon, um, just, just let us know, you know. Um, in the meantime, we're going to have a lot, we're revamping some things here. So we're going to have a lot more content coming up. Uh, we're trying to drop a couple videos a month these days, uh, starting this month. And, um, if you haven't subscribed and you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, share it. Um, you know, it, it's astounding, you know, for a, for a channel that has like 52 or 54,000 followers, we're almost hit 5 million views. So that's, that's just awesome that we're getting that type of content out to people so they can um can be safe while they're doing any type of modification you know this this is a smaller part of what i do the you know uh, um sort of going through my products my my real jam what i really love to do is the we're nerding out with with the parts and all that stuff and and we're going to get to some of that as as well in the future here we're going to do a nice 4311 breakdown so you guys can hear the story of how it came and the changes we had to make and how we ended up with the way it is and um the concept and it, it, it's it, it'll be a very very cool video because i can just show you what we did along with that tell the whole story of all the different aspects and the trials and the and the uh failures and all that different kind of stuff so thanks for tuning in um i hope this hope you found this video beneficial and, and remember trigger control is control